foul on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on their in-state rivals to the east, the Philadelphia Eagles. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Now the third-year man, Najee Harris. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want. And other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he'll get this to about the 34, a gain of just three. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Pickett will look to throw it here. Throw left side, going to be taken in by Harris. And down he goes, but the stiff arm utilized effectively there, and it helps him move the sticks. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. They run the play fake. Here's Pickett. Flush to his right. And he will slide to a halt with a penalty marker down on the play. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. A short one there to Fryermuth. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. Uh, coaches always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And have that what he did after the catch. Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Dialing up another pass here, Pickett. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Looked like they were set up defensively in a zone coverage, but somehow they found a seam because that receiver all alone by rights, that should have been a touchdown, but somehow this ball's overthrown. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense, 
and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that's going to bring up second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. They'll come up facing third and five. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. Larry Ogunjobi in for the sack. Ogunjobi fit in well with the black and gold, even if his one and a half sacks were his lowest since his rookie season. The Steelers, they gave him a new three-year deal to continue to be a space eater in the middle of the defensive line. Throwing on second and long. Hurts complete to Zacchaeus. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. But first down, Hurts. And he's taken down inside the 30. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. They asked him to take charge and get them to a spot where they could at least attempt to kick before the half. And he does just that. Didn't trust what he saw downfield. So he took it upon himself to get them into field goal range using his legs. That's coming through with a play they needed in a big spot. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more on that one and another first down. And this is exactly the kind of drive you're hoping for out of the gates. They're mixing the run and the pass well, keeping this defense off balance early. And they're on the march here with another first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Two yards left on second down from the nine. Hurts sets up to throw it. Touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. 
They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 7 0 game. to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. The Steelers taking over now late in this first half. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. First and 10. Here's Pickett. complete George Pickens with it now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one the Steelers taking over now late in this first half over on the sideline hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out they had to punt it away this time hoping to finish this thing off in of the end zone Pick it to throw on first down. It's brought in by Harris. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Let's go second down and six now. Looking to throw, pick it. That's complete to his tight end, Fryermuth. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 27-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. 15 yards last play and 15 yards here this go-around. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength, very nice route. Eluding the pressure right. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. The improv on the scramble there gets him six and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Boswell's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. 
One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Hurts. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Here's second and five now from the 37. On the option left, it's Hurts. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Well, he'd had success earlier in the drive keeping it himself. Not here, though. And sometimes when you have that kind of success, you can fall in love with the option a little bit too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. And that play starts to lose its effectiveness. From the gun, it's Hurts. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Hurts throws complete to Goddard. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Second down, here's Hurts. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he's down to the 12. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and four, they could still get a first down without scoring. Throwing his hurts. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. And wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Kudos for the defense from me on that one because they were prepared the whole way for him to try to escape and hit them for more yardage running it. I like the way they stayed zeroed in on him and kept him contained when he pulled the ball down. I think he was fortunate to get what he did on that run. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. The three-yard touchdown pass, and the Eagles will add to their fourth-quarter lead. And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed, and in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good, long look at it. Elliott now to add the extra point. This one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game.
after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their own 25-yard line. Pickett back to throw. Throw left side is intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Brown the motion man right. And they'll fake it there on the jet sweep, and instead, here's Swift. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. It always helps when you get great run support from your safeties, and when you get one who can actually read the play and get upfield and shut it down before it gets going, that's exactly what you're looking for. Third down, here comes Swift. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good, and they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter so we can get them into the floor of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So here's Pickett and the Steelers. Down by two touchdowns. A little under a minute 50 remaining. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Looking to throw here, pick it. He's got Pickens, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. But certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. A two timeout still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and 10. Pickett's throw complete to Fryermuth. 
And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Here's first and 10. Here's Pickett. And they'll get him down inside the red zone at the 14. It's also a gain of 14. First down. Well, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. Here's first down. Now pick it. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. You get into these two-minute drill situations, and you've often got tired legs on the offensive line. But these defenders, they've been rotating in and out, and they're a little bit fresher and quicker. And the pressure there forced the incompletion. The clock reading 40 seconds. Here's second and 10. Pick it to throw. That's complete to Robinson. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Now first and goal. Back to throw, pick it. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. Things just got a little bit more interesting here in the final minute. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Boswell good with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So with under 30 seconds to play, this is the game right here. And the Eagles are going to recover. And that might be enough to put a bow on this one. Now, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. Hurts down to one knee, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces.
And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead. That home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all of what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.